What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. Now I know what you're thinking. Like, JP, what is all this stuff? Well, I'm going to make a homemade boombox and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. Now, if this is your first time tuning in the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, because this is what we do here. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, Q&As, all that good stuff. This is the stuff that I went and bought, and it's super cheap, uh, well, individually cheap, and uh, I got everything from Amazon, so of course, all those links will be down there in the description if you want to do this stuff yourself. So let's start off with uh, what we got going. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this and then you can go as extreme as you want to but we just want something that's just going to be a lot louder than uh that little portable speaker that we have so i just went and got a regular uh digital media streamer so this is the kmm bt 3328u uh there's no cd player some people they call these uh mechless units uh because they're half the size because there's no cd player component on the inside but either way it does bluetooth usb auxiliary hd radio if you want it and uh that's pretty much all we need because we're just going to pair our phones up to it just like we do our bluetooth speaker and we just got some nice uh kfc 651s uh they look really really good and they sound good too and these are not expensive now the biggest thing is how are we going to power this up because this needs 12 volts because it is a car it needs 12 volts dc so this right here is our power supply it's a pyramid uh 30 amp power supply and um, of course you plug this into the wall and it's going to do whatever it does on the inside of here and it's going to output 13.8 volts on dc on these two right here now this is a 30 amp power supply so if i wanted to power up some more stuff i could so these two fans this is just going to help cool stuff down this already has a fan on the inside of it so if anything i might just put these two on the cd player to help keep that cool this right here is a fuse block that i got so I thought this was pretty cool and we definitely wanted to uh, make sure we protect everything uh, that's going to be on the inside of the boom box. Next thing I did is I got these magnets. Now these are super, super strong magnets and I got an assorted set because you never know. I'm not going to use all of these, but man, these... They're just, they're really strong. The reason I got these magnets is because if we want to add anything else, we don't want to put this totally together. So we're going to countersink some holes, put these magnets in them, kind of glue them in. That way, if we need to remove the top, all we got to do is lift the top up and we can change something out, whatever the case is. That's just a good way to do it. Now, of course, you can screw it in, but I want to have as less screws as possible because I'm going to be using MDF wood. So I'm going to paint, oh, I'm going to fill and paint over over the screw holes that we're going to use and i'm just going to use some spare mdf that i have lying around so uh let's get started all right so now i kind of got this temporarily set up don't worry all these stuff will be cut to size a little later i want to make sure that since i have where i'm going to put these two components and uh, i got plenty of space i just want to make sure that all my other stuff has uh you know what I'm saying, has space enough as well. So we're gonna take this speaker and we're gonna put it right here. Cause that's probably where we're gonna end up mounting it. And it's not touching that wall that just fell. Uh, we can do the same thing over here, just to make sure that we have good, a good enough space. So now that I know that, I can actually put this on, flip this over and draw my circles around to make sure I know where they're gonna be mounted. Same thing for the CD player. Now you're gonna mount this inside the sleeve from the outside, but I like to put the full thing on the inside just so I know how much space I'm really working with. Uh, right here, we literally got about five or six inches above the power supply and uh, we should be good with that. I don't think it'll get too hot inside this box. Besides, I got those other two fans that work pretty good and we have more than enough space. So first things first, let me go ahead Ahead and kind of mock this back up so this is going to be my front and we're going to keep the height this high so uh this is how we're going to do we're going to put our edge on that side on both sides and then we're just going to take our measuring tape so we are looking at about 25 and 11 sixteenths and uh so what we'll do is we'll measure this uh bottom piece for 25 and 11 16 and we're gonna cut that now as far as having everything that's going to be the same height uh, we can measure the height of this board 
which is, uh, looks like right at nine and a half. And then we can cut all our side pieces to nine and a half. Also, let's go ahead and get these pieces cut. And guess what just showed up from Amazon Prime, baby? Yes, sir. Bro, I rocks with Amazon the hard way. I'm not gonna sit there and lie to you, bro. $14 a month, I don't even really think about them $14 a month. But yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, you got a voltage meter right here. You got a cigarette lighter port right there. This is all for like marine stuff. You got your double USBs right there. We're gonna turn that around. And we have a switch to turn everything on. And we're gonna mount that boy right here. So, But next, I actually did this on accident, but it's going to, uh. It's probably gonna end up turning out pretty good. So um, this right here, I got it pretty close, um, pretty close. And we're going to um, uh, drill these in, glue it, uh, clamp it and all that type of stuff. But on the back side, I have a small little lip that kind of overhangs a little bit. And I was gonna try to cut that piece off, but since we're going to be using magnets to uh, put that top on, uh, I think I'm gonna keep that lip on there because that means I have about a quarter of an inch on each side and I promise you I didn't do it on purpose but it just ended up being like that. But I left a little lip on the back of here so when it's time to change any components out or I need to test anything, I can just stick my, back, my hand back here, pop it up, because we are using these magnets. So uh, I guess it worked out. I guess it worked out pretty good. Now let's go ahead and get our speakers drawn out and our sleeve drawn out on where we want to mount all of our stuff right here. I come over here and I wanted to measure first how tall this is and we're at like two and three quarters plus the three quarter inch of wood because this is gonna be the cap for the front so it's going over everything. So we need at least three and a half inches going up so our CD player doesn't touch and we're right at uh, five and a quarter, like almost six inches, so we're good with that. Also, like I said, this is the cap, so we need to make sure that this is gonna be at least uh, three quarters in because you gotta account for the three quarter inch of wood there and the three quarter inch of wood there. Now, one thing that you do need to know, like we're going in and we are right at where this grill is, uh that's right at three quarters and i'm not really worried about it because this is the grill the grill is bigger than the speaker so if we take another quarter inch maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that on the inside we should be able to cut that hole on the inside of that and still be good i'm not really worried about the uh so see we're about an eighth on the inside all the way around so and this is more than so this is what you're really worried about on the inside where that speaker's gonna go in and we're right at an inch this is just overlapping on the front so we're good there all right Josh so I'm gonna show y'all real quick how I got my inside hole so I can know what where I need to uh, jigsaw I flipped the speaker on its uh, on this on this front and I went in and I just drew some little holes on the inside so I know where the mounting holes are gonna be and then I took this on the inside, I went in right here and I just went ahead and made my circle. Now, is it going to be exact? Probably not because uh, I didn't went ahead and measure, but like I said, we're just doing this for fun. Now, what you could do is go ahead and measure this way, measure that way, that way you can find the center and then use that. But I mean, I'm just gonna take a chance. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole inside this thing and uh, let's see where it goes. All right, y'all, so we got the holes cut out. Uh, they don't look perfect, but I bet they fit those speakers. So CD player does fit. We're not gonna slide it all the way in because we still have to put it together. We're gonna take one of these speakers and put it in here. Oh yeah, and I'm good with all of that. 
So we're not gonna mount this because we still gotta put everything together. So I'm gonna take this stuff back out. All right, so instead of using the back strap, what I ended up doing was taking a piece of wood and kind of sandwiching this in. So uh, it's kind of tightly fitted, almost pressed, so it's not gonna really move anywhere. Uh, now I can put another in the front in the back if I want to I might do that But at the same time, I don't think it's gonna move next thing I want to do is I want to drill a hole Behind this that way uh, my plug can have a way to get out and we're going to use this from uh, Milwaukee the uh, hole saw I got the whole kit over here um, I'll see if I can find that on Amazon and put that in the description as well But let's go ahead and cut this hole in the back All right, so now we got that hole drilled. Go ahead and stick this in there, nice and easy. With this, I've already mounted it on the side. I literally just did the exact same thing. I just cut out the center and put those on there. And then I'm gonna mount all that stuff, wire it up. I went on ahead and drilled this in too. It's gonna be our fuse block. Now with these fans, I'm probably just gonna CA glue these in and uh, see how that works. Like I said, it's not gonna be a whole lot of base going on on the inside, but you know, as of right now, I think that's how I wanna try to mount that. So I'm gonna CA glue these in and uh, got the accelerator right here. That should hold pretty good. If not, then we will revisit how to keep those going, but I think that'll work. All right, y'all, so I think we straight on the fans. Watch, watch this, I super glued this thing in. Now this is a piece of three quarter MDF that I am picking up with this fan. Just the, just the one, let's see if I can, I'm gonna try it. Lift the whole thing up, put that boy back down cause we don't want it to come off. But needless to say, those fans aren't going anywhere. Super glue. Yes sir. All right y'all, so I got them speakers in. Just look at that rose gold, just looks so good. All right, got the CD player in there good. Kenwood CD player with the Kenwood speakers. It is mounted. We got the fans going. We know they, we know they staying in there. Now let's put it on the front to make sure that everything fits how it's supposed to. All right, all right. That's all we're doing, making a little small speaker box, baby. What I did was is I laid my top piece on top of the box and I took a piece of three quarter and I set it on the edge and I drew a line right here. As you can see, there's a line right there. Reason I did that is this is gonna let me know where I need to drill in order to reach that bottom piece as well. So, because you know, if, since we're trying to use magnets, we're gonna drill a hole through both pieces of wood so we know where we can stick our magnets. So let's do, let's just do one right here. And let's do one in the back, try to make it in the middle. Same thing on this side. All right guys, so after measuring the magnets that we're gonna use, a 5 8 paddle bit seems to be the best size. I wanna go ahead and drill down so we can make sure that our magnet is just a little bit above flush of this piece of wood. Once we got it to where we want it, we can start applying the uh, CA glue. Now you wanna apply that to the bottom piece of the wood. Then we're gonna take our magnet, stick it inside the wood piece, and you can really just let it sit right here. I have some accelerator spray, so I'm gonna spray that. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and wired up the CD player and the speakers, and it looks like this. I have the uh, speaker wire uh, from both speakers just going to the back of the radio. I've extended the red, black, and white, which is the 12 volt ignition and the ground right there. Uh, these fans, I've extended those wires as well. And those are the twisted pair, those blue and yellow. So those are gonna be my fan wires. The uh, red, black, and yellow right here are for my radio. I have everything tested tape, zip tied up. I just wanted to be a little bit clean on the inside. From the power supply, I put 12 gauge speaker wire on the inside. I think it can take 10, but I'm not sure. It was kind of a stretch putting this 12 in here. So it might just, 12 might be the max, but we're just going right here to the fuse block. So I think it'll be good. But we got power going right here to where it says plus. We have the ground going over here to the negative side. So when I put this front piece on, I can actually uh, tighten now since this 
In normal circumstances, if you were hooking this up in a car, you can separate these two, the ignition and the 12 volt. But since this is gonna turn on when we plug it in the wall, I can actually use this as one if I wanted to. So it just depends on if I wanna do any extra accessories down the line. But I will tape all this stuff up so it look nice and neat. That ground is going to go right here. Uh, I got my two fans that are, I got twisted up. I'm gonna put them together, then I'm gonna unravel just like untwist it to where the blue can go to ground and the yellow can go to a fuse. This right here is a switch that we're probably not going to use. I was thinking about hooking it up just so the light could come on, but we're not going to use it. Also, there's a cigarette lighter socket here because if you have a bolt and you don't have that, you have one. We don't need this because I have my USBs that I've already hooked up and my voltmeter. So these are the only two things that's actually installed. Basically just twisting my wires up. Uh, the gold one, the gold prong that's on here is ground. So we have ground blue, 12 volts for power. And I just have one hooked up here, five volts for the uh, voltmeter. And uh, I mean, five amp fuse for the voltmeter, 10 amp fuse for this, because there's two five amp uh, USB chargers over here. Also, uh, I put a 5 amp on the on the fans and a 10 amp on the CD player. Like I said earlier, ground goes here, power goes there. All these three are for power and those, or these six right here that has the fuses where your power will go to and these six is where your grounds will go to. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now we're gonna cut this on. It's gonna give us 13.8 volts and then you see my, oh I'm sorry, they're 5 volt 2.1 amp uh usb chargers but that should still give us some fast charging those two work good cd player cuts on let's put this top back on now we got our magnets drilled in and uh i'm, I'm really excited to see what it sounds like Okay, I say that sounds pretty good. But uh, yeah, man, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video on how to make your own custom boom box. So next time we will go over uh, paint scheme, making it nice and neat, router and all the edges and all that good stuff. But if you guys found any value in this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that. Until next time, this is your boy JP signing out. Peace.